I have, I have, oh yeah, there he is. How you doing? The truth. That truth, I'm good. What's How happening, bro? <laughs> Can you hear me? I'm, yeah, I'm good. How about yourself? Yeah, man. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing, I was just, I was just talking a minute ago because we've been receiving some emails from some of the viewers about people who do not necessarily understand um, the whole mission, the whole, uh, what's the word to use? They don't understand your type of ministry. Got it. They don't understand they, they because they're not so used to the fact that you can use rap to glorify God. And I was just saying a minute ago that I, I came to I came to a concert one time and I, I saw a, to, a different a certain group of young people, the kind of young people who come to my church and stand outside during praise and worship time. These were the same bunch of people in the session in 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 the service you know or the concert or whatever and you know they, they, they were shouting who's the king he the king who's the king he the king and i was so excited when i saw that because it was a completely different form of worship and i thought yeah. i thought i thought that was great what, what do you have to say about you know this some of these people's um objections um i, I, w- I would say man that some oftentimes um it's just a lack of information mm. um Sometimes it's hardness of heart, you know, sometimes people are traditionalist because their hearts are hard, uh, which we found, which we find in the, in the, in the uh, lives of the Pharisees. Mm. Other times, uh, people are traditionalist yeah. uh, because of a lack of information. They just have to be educated. Yeah. Uh, and so I think that, um, you know, it's, it's, it is, it is very difficult um, mm. to, to die to old things. You know, yeah. Jesus had to come and establish a new covenant, and um, that you know it was it was wasn't easy for people to grasp this concept of something brand new being introduced, yeah. even though it was healthy, it was helpful, it was directly from God. It was very difficult for people to wrap, especially Jews, yeah, uh, yeah. to wrap their mind around this concept that um, Jesus was there was a new arrangement being established, and that they were responsible for embracing it. Mm. Um, you know, which is what you find all throughout the book of Hebrews is the Jews going back to the old way of doing things. Right. Galatians, Jews going back to the old way of doing things. Right. And uh, so I think that, you know, it's just some people just need to be informed. They need to be educated um, and uh, they need understanding. And the one thing that we would hope that they understand is that, um, you know, that, you know, that first of all, understand themselves. And that is what I just mentioned, yeah. you know, that. It's not always easy to be progressive. Yeah. Uh, even in Acts, the Bible says that when you know the 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 sheet fell from the from the sky, at right. least it was the, it was the vision, mm-hmm. you know, or for the whole thing. First thing that Peter said was, "I can't eat this." <laughs> and God says, "Kill and eat." First thing Peter says is, "I can't yeah. eat this." And God says, "The thing that I call clean, don't you call unclean?" Now, what's right. crazy is that at one point God did call that unclean. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. But now. Uh, but now under under this new arrangement, that's God right. was considered, and, and it was it, God considered it something to be redeemable. That's right. And so I, that's the that's the message we want to help people to understand that um, the Christian or that rap in general, hip hop in general, mm. is redeemable. Um, however, the aspects of hip hop that are not redeemable, we throw overboard. <clears throat> right. There are aspects of it that are not redeemable. <laughs> the holding of oneself, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But, you know, pride, you know, bragging about oneself yeah. uh, and many other things and many other things that are not redeemable. The, you know, the snarling, the gritting, you know, because the Bible says that um, the believer <clears throat> it should be filled with the spirit and uh, the fruit of the spirit is gentleness and meekness. That's right. And joy. So we can't be like, you know, <laughs> in our music videos, holding ourselves and making mean, you know, no, and no. ice grilling, you know. <laughs> So there are things that we throw overboard, yeah. but things that, but there, but there are uh, other, there, but there are other aspects of it that are redeemable, and that's what we do. We take those things that are redeemable, and we uh, we use them for the for the glory of God, while throwing overboard those things that are not redeemable and that's would correct. detract God's that's glory. Correct. That's correct. Thank thanks for thanks for that, man. Boy, you're you're deep in your stuff, boy. <laughs> oh, <not> deep, no. <laughs> but truth, we are so excited about you coming back to the UK, man. Everyone's talking about truth coming back, and we're even so, and we're even more excited about the fact that you're going to be shooting your very first music video from your newest album in yeah. the UK. That's big. Yeah. That's that is big. I'm excited <laughs> about it. Uh, GP, 
is on yeah. the song Talk To You off my uh, new record um, titled The Big Picture. Yeah. Got a lot of London love on this new record. Got GP. I felt got, that. I felt that, man. Yeah. Got Jahaz, <laughs> Jahazi out. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, I'm excited about getting out there, man, and uh, even having some of those guys in my video as well. So I'm um, looking forward to that. Wow, that's that's some good stuff, man. Now we were just showing before before you came on, we showed a clip from your first Geo Live appearance, which was I think was it January two thousand eight or something thereabouts. Anyway, yeah, pretty much. It yeah. was the end of two thousand seven. Now, now that was two thousand seven. Well, it was like December twenty ninth of yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah, I know. It was getting to the end of the year thereabouts. Now yeah. we people people were so excited about that, but you know we've you've got this new album, and you've from this new album you've you've shown to us that the truth is diverse because this album <laughs> this album is serious, man. You've broken all the hip hop laws and taken it. To, <laughs> you've taken this album to a whole another level. So we know you've got some some secrets in there that you're going to be what's it going to be like for you at geo live this year man what what's what's up, what are some of the new stuff that you're bringing to us yeah well, like you said man um i've always tried to I, i've never tried i've just this has always been natural for me to um just want to push myself to go further uh artistically musically yeah. lyrically and um you know with this record man i just wanted to make it uh epic and um, I, uh, I, and I think that that's probably the word that would best describe what the concert's going to be. Right. Uh, it's going to be epic. It's going to be a cinematic experience. Uh, it's going to be a ministerial. It's, it's going to be a worship experience. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's going to be. Uh, since I've been there, since the last time I was there, I think my ministry has evolved a great deal. Mm. Um, and that it, you know, I, I know the, on the DVD it was the whole concept was where the culture meets worship where hip-hop culture meets worship yeah. but i think even more now than ever before in my ministry that's what uh the experience is going to be is where hip-hop culture and worship you know uh, get now, get married that's, that's very interesting that you even said that but why do you feel the need to merge the two i really you know I, because as be, i think as believers well personally i love worship period like i'm a fan of the hill songs i'm a yeah. i don't even listen to christian rap for the most part Right. Um, for the most part, I only li I listen to CCM artists, Christian contemporary music. I listen to the, the to the Hill songs. I listen to Leland. I listen to the Mercy Me's. I listen that's to all up, these yeah. guys. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, so um, this is that's what attracts me. That's what draws me. And just the what 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 I the thing I love about them is just how God centered they are and how their worship um, is uh, theocentric. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, and I think that I, I, there's something rap can accomplish that by all means. It can it can lubricate the soul, you know, yeah. and, and, a, and, a, and set a person up to to really worship God. But there's something about singing. <laughs> <laughs> Chief, before you go on, just sit back a little bit for us. Just relax in, in your. There we go. Oh, That's it. That better? Better. Got it. Yeah. Was it, was it you didn't like my face? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, not even that, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm just joking. But, um, but yeah, man, um, you know, so I've, I've added a, 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 an element of singing. That's actually a, a, a big part of the, the I heard show. you singing on the album, and I was, I asked yeah. someone, I said, is that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got um, a good voice as well, man. Uh, it's all right. I, I, do, I do okay. <laughs> Oh um, boy, yeah. But yeah, that's a, that's a large part of the show now as well. Um, but I think that you know, over the time, I've learned how to really incorporate it in a way where you don't miss out on the hip hop portion of it, but at the same time, you still get that real worship element. Yeah. So that's what people can expect: an epic, cinematic. Mm -hmm.